Greetings everyone, it's time for a video. Uh, today, in this video, I'm gonna talk about this uh, VHA Impact bit set uh, that comes in a nice box and a ratchet. Uh, the part number is 76889. Uh, they call it sometimes on VHA, the, uh, VHA tools, they call it the Go Box. Um, they've got other sets which are similar to this but there's in fact there's a 35 bit this is the 32 piece um, set it comes with a ratchet and of course an adapter um, let's see so I picked this up it's been a little over a year I've had it I've used it off and on you know a couple times it isn't something we use again very often because I've got tons of other bits but every now and then it's handy to grab uh, so the uh, uh, first off you know it comes with a bunch of stuff but the first thing you notice when you get it is you got this uh, nifty little metal case, which I have to say is pretty nice, pretty solid. It just snaps closed, um, and then you just pull it open and it's there. Uh, inside you get a ratchet, a bit ratchet, and then you have their, I think they call this their Slim Fix, I think, or Slim Fit. I'm not sure on that one. Uh, this is their uh, bit holder. Um, it is impact rated, which is pretty cool. And then you get all of these impact rated bits. Uh, you've got some positive drive. You've got, I think it's metric hex. You've got a whole bunch of torques. You have a uh, bit adapter for quarter inch. So if you want to uh, use a quarter inch bit like so, like pop it in there. Oh. It's kind of hard to fit in. Well, I'm trying here. I'm having a problem. There we go. Um, you can use, of course, uh, you know, quarter inch sockets in this. So, and then if you really want to get some range, uh, you can pop this in. And this is magnetic. This is not a, um, there's no catch or snap or anything like that when the ratchet. Then you put this in and you can use them a little bigger. So, kind of a, you know, you want like a small little ratchet to get in. Um, you can use it. Uh, I think this is 72 um, tooth, this ratchet. Uh, anyway, so that's kind of where that's at. And then this is locking, so you have to pop, and then it nicely pops out. Uh, and then let's see. This ratchet itself is pretty cool. It's actually pretty heavy. Uh, let me weigh it real quick, give you a rough idea what this weighs. Let's see here for a second to do it is in terms of ounces it weighs about two and a half ounces uh, if you want this in grams it weighs about almost 72 grams so it's got a, a definite um, it feels very solid and very uh, has a good heft in the hand to it to be honest uh, you see it certainly doesn't feel cheap at all um, this is all uh, metal actually which is nice um, there is a tiny uh, there's a tiny little Torx fastener there I don't know that's so small in fact I don't even think the bit they provide would work in it and let's see yeah it's gonna have to be that's a T10 so it's probably about a T6 or T7 I guess so you can take this part but I haven't seen any parts of whether or not you can sell it whether or not you can service it uh, you have the nice VHA um, it's uh, impression and then it's got a switch so it's reversible they do have a uh, looks like a kind of a finger ring which is nice I mean I, honestly this ratchet's pretty pretty nice for what it is it's not bad now uh, before I go much further and before I forget so the uh, country manufacturer uh, for the bits is listed according to KC tool the bits are made in Germany uh, the ratchet, strangely enough, is made in Taiwan, uh, but, you know, I haven't seen a quality issue. It seems to be pretty nice. Um, and then I don't know where the box is made. Not really sure. They do say that it is assembled and packaged in the United States, so that's kind of where this is at. Um, when I, uh, last year, bought this, I picked it up off Amazon. And the reason why is, is that um, at the time, I thought that this was going away. Um, I couldn't find it anymore on Casey Tool, and I've had it just on a list of things to buy. Couldn't find it on VHA Tools. It's like it just dropped off. So uh, when that happened, I 
I found uh, somebody still selling it on Amazon and they didn't have many left. And then I noticed, I don't know, a few months later that it came back and now it's back all over the place. Um, you can find it, of course, on VHA Tools. You can find it on Casey Tool. You can find it on Amazon. Uh, you can find it on Toolnut. There's lots of places that sell it. Um, now the price kind of varies a bit on VHA Tools. It's $36 roughly on Casey Tool, Amazon, and others. It's $30. Don't know why there's a price difference there, but there is. So, at any rate, so as I said before, we have, um, you, you got a lot of bits. So you got, these are Phillips, sorry, I said the, earlier there's a positive drive. There are a positive drive in it. But you got metric, hex, you have, uh, which like you've got like six and all the way down to, I think, five, four, this would probably be three. Yep. Then you got Torx starting with uh, T40 all the way down to T10, which is pretty good. And you got the quarter inch adapter. This is what they call there. These yellow ones are high visibility uh, Phillips. You got a you know, pH 3, 2, and 1. And I guess they're just that way so you can grab them easy. And then you have um, standard or imperial hex. So all you have in quarter inch. And it goes all the way down to 1 8th. Uh, they also include square drive, which is nice. So you have some square drive, like three, two, and one. And then finally, here's your positive drives. That's PZ one, two, and three. Um, Thirty-two pieces total. I think that's. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure. It's six, twelve. Twelve makes C sixteen. Would be twenty-one. Twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. I think I'm. So I think there's 30 bits and then two pieces. I could be wrong on that. Um, anyway, so that's pretty much the set in general. It's, uh, you know, I've, I've read other people, they buy this and they say, yeah, it's a pretty good little set. You know, you throw it in your toolbox, uh, throw it in a drawer if you ever need it, or you carry it along. Um, you know, it's been handy for me every now and then when I need to do something. It is nice to have these as impact rated. Surprisingly, they offer another set, which is a 35 millimeter set. It's almost the same, or a 35 piece set, sorry. But um, it's also a lot more money, and I'm not really sure. The only thing they really offer is, I think, slotted, and then there's another difference. And that somehow manages to increase the price by like $15. I'm not really sure why, but everything else is pretty much the same from what I understand. I think there might be the case might be a little different. Um, not sure on that. Uh, but, and so just to keep to that in mind that this is 76889. So when you're, if you decide you want to search and get this, um, that's just something to get to make sure that you're paying attention to because um, the expense is, <laughs> I mean, it really is a, a big jump in price for the other one. So don't make the mistake of getting this or getting the wrong one that's more than this, if you want it. Now, I'm not saying it's bad. Maybe there's other reasons to, to get that. But uh, I think in terms of deal-wise, this is pretty solid uh, to get, you know, if the assuming everything's correct. German-made impact bits. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good deal. And in this nice little storage case. And, of course, if something goes bad, you can always go back and, you know, replace one or whatever, you know, what they wear out. And then this uh, impact... Um, Impact rated bit holder is also pretty nice too, I think. Um, it's got a pretty good design where, you know, you've got the locking ring. So, like, you know, again, just to show you, you put it in, it locks in place. That's a nice little setup. And then it's solid. It's not coming out. And then it pops out to pull. Uh, I think that's pretty good design, honestly. It works out pretty well. So, uh, let's see. A couple of things real quick before we're done with this. In terms of dimensions, it is roughly... Uh, a little over four inches long, about four and a quarter it looks like. And it's a little under probably one and three quarter inch in terms of um, width. Thickness is about one and a quarter. So they give you a rough idea of where it is. And I think the overall weight, let's see, let's actually weigh it real quick. Is in terms of ounces is our terms of grams 142 and in terms of ounces it's five five ounces a little bit so it's about a third of a pound uh, it's got some half like i said when you you pick this up you can definitely feel that you've got something here that's pretty solid and nice so anyway uh that's it for this video um there's not much else to say about this kit if you like it pick it up uh, i've certainly not found anything wrong with it 
and uh, I've been pretty impressed with how well this thing is and uh, it's pretty I think it's a pretty good little deal for what you're getting so anyway um, that's it for this video you want like subscribe comment etc and as always thanks for watching